Hey Groot, so I saw your post on Reddit and I just wanted to try and answer your question for you. Um, so there's a couple different ways you can do it. Um, if you're using a top-down modeling method where you're getting your main assembly and design information, even for the lower components from a sketch, you can always import um, import that information into a sketch and then just do a regular uh, extrude cut using the convert entities where you're pulling from the exterior or external sketch. Um, but another way, it sounds like you're probably not using uh, that uh, type of top-down modeling. So one day, one way you can do it is using cavity. Um, if you go into cavity, you can select a body, even though it's an exterior part or an external part. And then all you have to do is uh, click the green check mark and it'll subtract it from um, your, your main body. Uh, so you can put holes in there with uh, different bodies. Now, the one downside to that is that it's going to create a bunch of cross-reference links where it's basically importing the body and subtracting it out. Um, so be careful in that regard. Um, but one nice thing, no matter which method you use, um, is that you can use the body to cut the exact hole diameter. And then a nice trick is to use move face. And you can, uh, I'll show you how to do that. So you can just select those faces and offset them, and then you can uh, account for your tolerance stack up and clearance. So I hope that's helpful. Good luck, man.